Okay, this is my second recording of chapter 12. Unfortunately, the previous ones were too large. Anyway, that's not your problem. Let's get into it. Water and dietary fiber. Okay, what do you need to know at the end of this lesson? You need to state functions of water dietary fiber. You need to differentiate between insoluble and soluble dietary fiber. Yes, there's more than one type of dietary fiber, and you need to know the differences. You also need to list some ways of increasing water and fiber intake. You need to list some sources of of water and fiber and you need to explain health problems related to excessive and insufficient water and fiber intake. Alright, so what are the functions of water? The first function is to regulate body temperature. Now you lose water from your body through three ways, breathing, perspiration and urination. Oops. Um, now, water helps to maintain your body temperature when, you, when your body temperature rises. For example, when you start to exercise and your body gets really hot, what happens is that your sweat glands start to produce sweat, which goes onto the surface of your skin. And as, a, as the sweat evaporates from your skin, it actually cools your body down. Next function of water is to remove waste products from your body. Now, water-soluble waste products are excreted through the urinary system. So, waste products such as urea dissolve in your urine and then it's excreted from your body. Water also adds bulk to solid waste materials. So, you know that um, your feces needs water, helps to bulk it up, also helps to lubricate it through your large intestine, making it easier to remove from your body and this prevents constipation. Third function of water is a medium for chemical reactions. Water is an excellent solvent for many chemical reactions in your body. Um, your, your blood has a lot of water in it, so that a lot of chemicals can dissolve in it. And also, you know, for example, in your digestive system, you need water for all your enzymes to work properly, and that helps to break your food down more quickly. Last function of water, sorry, not last, this is the fourth one, transportation of nutrients. Water is an important component of blood. Blood has about 70% water, and that helps to transport nutrients such as glucose and amino acids and oxygen through your body and also helps to remove carbon dioxide, which is a waste product. Last function of water is that it lubricates joints and your organs. Now, around your joints, so for example, your elbow, your knee joint, you have this bone called cartilage, and within that cartilage, you have this fluid called synovial fluid. Now, because you have this encasing of a bo um, this really soft bone and fluid around your joints, it actually helps absorb shock, and the water acts like grease, you know, in between um, gears and lubricates your joints so that you have smooth joint action. Now water also helps protect the linings of your digestive tract. You know, um, in your stomach, the pH is 2, but you have mucus around your stomach, lining your stomach, and that mucus has a lot of water in it, and that protects your, your stomach from the acid. And also, you know, you need water from tears, and you know, tears will help to cleanse your eyes. So whenever you get something fa falling to your eye, like an eyelash, you know, you, you're going to start to feel the tears well up in your eyes because it, the tears are trying to clean your eye for you. Alright, so we'll just stop there.